People are dumb, man. Yeah, it was so dumb. The internet's full of dumb people. You know when you're a kid and you thought that like adults just had it all figured out? Like people that were growing up had it all figured out? Wrong. No one, no. Wrong. Wrong. Half the adult population can't tie their own fucking shoelaces. Well, it doesn't have a red line. No, the table that's on the other one. <laughs> man. Class of, we're back. I'm not going to class of 2022 anymore. I'm not going to say it's like an episode number because we're starting to get episode one, class of. Um, today is fly out day. Davina and I are going to LA and then on to Mexico. She is fighting on triumphant. She's fighting for the triumphant world title against a local Mexican girl, Cynthia Flores. So we've got fighter training this morning. Um, we've got Davey, who's currently training for Debrit who is fighting on 1774 in Sydney. Max is back, he can only box, but he's post-surgery, he's all sorted out. Um, Flavi is here before he goes off, he's going back home to Albania for a bit. And then last session home for Davina. It's just gonna be a light session, so um, fighter this morning, and then everyone's gonna come along with us while we just run errands and I talk smack. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Um, Duff. <laughs> come here. Everyone remembers Darcy. And uh, we also, since the last one, we also have a new trainer in the building, San, San Sitmonchai, all the way from Thailand. San. 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 <laughs> uh, so, class of, we're back. Vlog series gonna be more regular. Back to the video content. Back to my uh, aimless rambling, and yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that'd be cool if I pulled that off, eh? Cut it out, cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever needed to tie up my shoelace mid Muay Thai session before. Yeah. We've got a few errands to run today. So I've got, uh, we're flying to Brisbane at 7.30. Get there at 8.10. Then we leave Brisbane 10.30 tonight, get in at 7 p.m. The same day. Time travel. Uh, and then hopefully we're tired enough from such a long flight that we'll be able to go to bed. So when we went, when I went to America with Davey earlier in the year, we did the same thing and I got there and fell asleep and I was straight on the time schedule. But when I, this year with Max, that did not go to plan. So I think it was like we got there on the Sunday or the Monday and then... Uh, I was just, I was getting so close. It was like the Wednesday, I was getting so close to being on the time. And then I lay down for a nap at like three in the afternoon, and woke up at midnight. <laughs> I was like, oh, I fucked it. So yeah, that wasn't very good. But you'd think, okay, so this year, put some flags up, Sean, you ready? Okay, Thailand, 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 Singapore, 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 Canada, England, America, now America, Mexico. 10 months, 10 trips. Um, so, hey, shout out to all those people that um, I went to school with that laughed at me when I uh, dropped maths in year 10. I can count all the trips I'm taking. <laughs> Wait, if someone, if someone tells you, if someone tells you that you can't live your dreams and passion, tell them to go fuck themselves. Straight up. Tell them to go. Where are my socks?
Shout out to my um, Canadian People's Hope, who's defending her WBC Canadian national title in uh, two and a half weeks on uh, Kieran B's Muay Thai World Cup in Calgary, doing good things for Muay Thai in Canada. Good on you, Kieran B, even though you're English, but... One, for me especially, I, uh, I think I, tr I travel internationally a lot more than um, a lot of other trainers do. I get to see and meet some pretty cool and interesting people, uh, and it's pretty cool to see the way that Muay Thai is developing uh, across the world, but also just some of the differences. Like, um, so yeah, the idea behind bringing this vlog series back is just to do a little bit more um, day in day in my life. A lot of people ask me what I do. I mean, sometimes part part of it is it's for me as well because my memory's so bad. I get to watch back old vlog episodes. Like, oh yeah, I remember when I did that. Um, so for those of you who are watching this, people who watch these vlogs in the past who aren't from Canberra. We're in, uh, Moyu is in Fishery, which is an industrial suburb in Canberra. Uh, we just drove past four brothels, <laughs> which is, uh, yeah, and then the rest of it is construction and the like around it. So um, today we're actually just going to help mum, help my mum move some stuff. It's not Muay Thai related at all. <laughs> it's just, we won't film too much of it. Um, I'll just talk a lot about Muay Thai on the way, do some Muay Thai chats. Um, what is that? Camper van? Oh, it's like oh, burnt out. Oh, oh, hectic. The camper van got blown out. Mean. Okay, so this this part of Canberra, you know where this real estate is right here? So see, man, there's cops and fires and everything. So this part of Canberra, there used to be these old, um, like, uh, like public housing here. And this was maybe... So this is like prime real estate, but for a long time there was like public housing all the way along here. The city centre is just there. And <laughs> one time, it was like the top floor, this dude's meth lab exploded. <laughs> this guy's meth lab exploded and like fully burned out the top floor of it. Fuck, it was funny. This is a little bit of deja vu. Man, that trailer's completely burnt out, eh? I wonder what happened. That's the one, the one thing about camera is like all, all of the crime seems to revolve around uh, car, like stealing cars. Stealing cars. Like I swear to God, I see a fucking burnt out or a stolen car, a new one, like a handful of times a day. It's ridiculous. Where are we? Where are we? Hi. Hi, I'm just gonna, can I just buzz the number and come through the front? They're doing like painting and stuff down the driveway. Yeah, it's, it's actually open. I've left the whole front gate open. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. I'll see you soon. Front door's open. Bye. Okay, right. This fucking spot. And it's a no-go zone. Yeah, story time. They, the, the, so they cleaned up. The tenants like cleaned up, right? And left a pot on the stove. They can left and left a pot on the stove going, and it started a fire. And the the, the fire department had to like come in and like smash the door off. Them. <laughs> what? Wait. So they vlog series burns out caravans. <laughs> yeah, car, fire is car, today. Car jacking, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dress me in the most ridiculous stuff, I swear to God. They're black and white overalls with a yellow t shirt. Have you seen those dresses where it's just like, no, I where the dress is like, it's pants! <laughs> I never put a dress on him. Jesus Christ, don't you fucking Oh, yeah, I just played with that one. Yeah. Oh, come, oi, check. Bro, I'm a. Oi, look how fucking adorable I am here. Look at that! Oi, look how adorable I am in that one. <laughs> Facebook profile picture right there. <coughs> how good's that? Is that you? Yeah, fuck, don't, don't put that on the vlog, please. Don't be like that. What about that one up there? Okay, so fun fact. Okay, you can you can charm. Oh my fuck. <laughs> okay, so 
Ja. Show me this photo. Show me this photo here. So I was, um, so mum says I was born 31. How early is 31 weeks? What's a normal? Nine weeks early. Hey? Nine weeks. Nine weeks early. I was nine weeks premature. 1.9 kilos I weighed. Been on the bulk. 1.9 kilos? Yep. 31 weeks. Up until you were about six months old, I would bounce you in the bucket. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome. Welcome to my family home. <laughs> Hot, freshly cooked. Oh. Roll those bad boys in a bit of cinnamon sugar. Yeah, it's fresh. All hot. It's like an Asian mixed salad thing you get from Coles with tuna, some peanuts, and some crunchy noodles. Uh, Karen, are you excited to eat two airline meals? Yeah, pumped. Um, I, uh, I fly a lot, obviously, as people know, and I have a boatload of frequent fly points. Normally, I upgrade myself to business class because I'm bougie like that. But um, I'm doing the nice thing, and I'm 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 staying with Davina the whole flight there and on the way back. Mm -hmm. I'm foregoing the ability to lay flat for you. Thank you know, you. Oh, you're laying flat on a 14-hour flight is the best. I can't, I can't say I've done that, so. Remember, if I whatever I get, you get the opposite. That's how it works. Diandra knows how it works. Oh, so you get chicken, I get whatever the opposite. Yeah, is. I don't want to. Well, how many shit though? Huh? Well, how many the second option shit? No, it's trust me, it's fine. Okay, so okay, this is how it goes, right? There's always two meat options, yeah. and there's a vegetarian option. Uh, yeah. What do you not get? The vegetarian. Excellent. So if there's chicken and beef, right? They say, what would you like, sir? And I go, I have the chicken, thanks. And they go, ma'am, what would you like? What? Yeah, boom, okay. So bang, bang. Got it? <laughs> yep, do you want a drink as well? Nah, I'll just have my own drink, that's okay. Just yeah. Cool. Next vlog will be post-Mexico. I'm actually gonna try and film some stuff on my phone and I'll get... <laughs> and I'll get Sean to, uh, the man behind the camera, to edit it in and, and make it as part of the next vlog. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you on the other side of this. Uh, I don't know what day you'll be watching this. Probably soon. Hopefully soon. Ideally soon. And, um, yeah. Do you have anything to say? No. <laughs> see you in Mexico. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Peace! <laughs> Man, every time you go on a camera, you go weird. I know. <laughs> I just don't know so, what to yeah. say. <laughs> See you in Mexico, motherfuckers. See you in Mexico, motherfuckers. <laughs>